Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. We're here today with another Create a Sim video and this time we're starting on our Sunset Valley makeovers. Now this is Erin Kennedy. She is what I would describe as a filler sim. She is not the most interesting. <laughs> I don't know, I just feel that there's so many interesting sims with really unique and out there backstories and then you just have the likes of Erin who doesn't really have a lot going on but you know that's fine too like not every sim has to be like drama filled and dramatic and quirky and out there you know it's nice to have some balance with sims that are you know just working on their careers. So Erin's sort of backstory, I guess, would be that she works in the military. Her dream is to, you know, rise to the top, become an astronaut, take her career as far as it can go. And she has recently transferred to Sunset Valley. And the thing with Erin is she's so driven and ambitious. But at the same time, she doesn't really know how to sort of make meaningful connections with people. She doesn't really know how to interact with others. She doesn't really know how to build relationships. So her whole arc, I guess you could say, is her trying to find balance between her career and her personal life. You know, can she get to the top of her career while also, you know, developing the social side of her life? So she's a single sim, she lives by herself, you know, she doesn't really have any friends. And that's just who Erin is. <laughs> so I, I want to kind of start out small. Um in terms of makeovers. Because if you haven't seen my latest video uh, where I gave Annalisa Riddle a makeover, um, I was saying how I wanted a new project to work on and I thought that project could be like a world renovation in The Sims 3. We take one of the sort of game worlds and we'll just sort of turn it into whatever we want it to be. You know, how we like to style Sims, how we like to build houses, you know, what we want Sims to be. And just kind of working it like that. But then once I started with Annalisa, I'm like, you know what, I don't really want to do Twinbrook. Sunset Valley is, is my jam. That Sunset Valley is where I am happiest, you know. We're just vibing here in Sunset Valley. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's what I wanted to do. So she, Erin is the first sim we're working on in the Sunset Valley crowd. And as I said, I did want to sort of ease myself in. So we are just going to start with the single sims who don't have the massive mansions. Just to try and make this a bit more sort of manageable for me to begin with because again as I said in the last video I'm not a massive fan of creative sim it's definitely the part of the game I spend the least time in you know I'll do what I have to do and then I'll leave because I just find you know building more satisfying or gameplay is obviously top tier like that's incredibly satisfying for me but um, <laughs> I'm actually quite surprised by how much I am enjoying cast lately like I really enjoyed making over Annalisa and I'm really enjoying doing Erin. So I'm, I'm just so excited to get into doing the rest of The Sims and doing some of The Sims I find more interesting. Like I'm really excited to make over the Bunch family. They're probably one of my favorite families in Sunset Valley. And Judy is pretty horrific without a makeover, but they can be such pretty Sims. So I am looking forward to getting in there. So back to Erin, <laughs> um, I kind of want to keep her very simplistic. I feel that Erin isn't the sort of person who's into gaudy patterns, bright colors, you know, she's not that kind of sim. I feel like she's quite minimalistic. Her favorite color is blue, so we have kind of ran with that. I do need to try and get better at not making everything, like every outfit your sim's favorite color, because I did the same with Annalisa Riddle. And I've done the same with Erin, you know, there is a lot of blue going on, there was a lot of lilac going on. So I do need to kind of be better about, you know, dispersing the colours and using other colours too. Because like my favourite colour is blue, but I don't only wear blue, you know? <laughs> um, but yeah, that, I had fun with Erin, I really did have fun with her. I didn't touch her sort of face, I didn't touch her traits or anything this time, we've just left her as she is. And Erin is actually a very pretty sim. We've changed her makeup a little just to give her, you know, a bit of colour in the cheeks and the lips. But we haven't done anything, you know, too OTT. I was also considering, you know, like a belly top for her pyjamas. But I do kind of feel that Erin's maybe a bit more conservative, like conservative with a small C. Uh, rather than 
you know, even alone, she probably wouldn't wear like a belly top. But then saying this, going into her athletic where we give her like a sports bra, but you know, I was actually a bit upset changing her athletic wear because I did feel that that sort of camo top fit her very well, but I wanted to change it. I just, I feel like that is more for like outdoor, you know, boot camp style stuff. Whereas I feel like in general, Erin would probably just be working out at the treadmill in the gym. You know, she's probably not gonna be going out on jogs and up that massive hill in Sunset Valley and stuff. So we did kind of change her outfit a bit. But, you know, I did like her previous one too. <laughs> There's, I see, I kind of want to put like my own stamp on all the Sims and all their outfits, but there is one Sim in particular I don't want to change anything on, and that is Gabias Coffee. But obviously we'll discuss him more <laughs> when I get to him. But I've said it on stream as well, he's one of my favourite Sims just because of like the Arrested Development references. I think that's really fun. <laughs> Uh, but I do think we are coming to the end of the video now. Again, I am recording this very soon after doing Annalisa Riddle's um, Create a Sim. So I haven't really found my foot with Create a Sim videos yet. So, I mean, we're all still learning. It's all just a learning process. But, uh, you know, bear with me. If you have any advice or anything to sort of make these better, do let me know. And I will definitely take that on board because obviously I want this to be like good <laughs> I don't want it to be rubbish you know um but yeah I had fun making over Erin I hope you liked what I did with her do you play with Erin in your game let me know let me know your thoughts what do you think about Sunset Valley just I don't know tell me things I love it <laughs> but, uh, but if you have enjoyed the video please consider dropping a like and maybe even subscribing because that would mean so much to me as always, comments are always welcome. Please leave them down below if you have any. I always like to chat. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the very next video. Bye.